It could be trout. Cause I think I had a trout hit it just now. There we go. <laughs> what I say? <laughs> it's trout. Well, there we go. First fish in the morning, haven't done the intro yet. It is chilly. I'm really surprised I found the school when I did because I was expecting to actually hunt them today. But first thing in the morning, got a little trout. Let's let him go. Thanks, man. Oh, he was ready to go. Let's go get some more. Well, that was easy. I know there's more in here too. He's not alone. It might take a little bit to, uh, to get more to commit, but that's fine. We'll play the waiting game. There, there's another one as soon as it hit the water, man. Oh, wait, no, this is a. Uh, oh, I think I found hook a needlefish. Oh, no, he hit it. It's in his mouth. Okay. You are not what I wanted, dude. Right in the noggin. Jeez. All right. It's a needlefish. There we go. This is not a needle. This is probably a red, the way it's fighting. Yep, that's a red. <laughs> Sweet. It's not, I mean, he's a little red, but he's not a bad red either. All right, come here, dude. Oh, don't get tangled up in my marsh pool, please. Come here, dude. Got him. Nice. Oh, nice red. Oh, good start to the morning. Damn. <laughs> there he is. There's a red. Got a trout and a red in the same spot. That is awesome. <laughs> this water is so clear and I feel like the water temperature has dropped and it's kind of got these fish fired up. Uh, I was not expecting this. I was thinking today was going to be a slow day, but uh, no, they do not mind the cold water at all. All right, let's get a release on this redfish. <laughs> oh, that was easy. And he's gone. Hey guys, real quick. If you saw my last video, you saw that I got a custom rod built by a local company called Seaborn. They're out in Gulf Breeze, and Chris, the owner, wanted me to let y'all know that if you use my code HOOKCRAFT, you can get $50 off your first custom rod made by Seaborn, and they are great. Just look at that. These rods are sick. I've actually caught all the fish today on this rod. I absolutely love it. Y'all go get one today. All right, so let's go over how I'm catching these fish on the jerkbait. Y'all been seeing me fish the jerkbait a lot lately, for some reason this year, I finally picked one up and decided to fish with it, and it's been working pretty well for me. So, there's two ways I like to fish this lure. The first way you fish this is just a straight retrieve, but as you reel it in and gets closer to the boat, you want to pick up the pace a little bit. And what this is going to do, this is going to attract redfish, because redfish like to chase stuff. They're just aggressive. They're just aggressive fish, so they want something to chase. So you want to speed it up as it gets closer to the boat, and if there's a redfish nearby, they should turn and crush it. If you're going for trout, all right, you're gonna reel it in, maybe rip it, and then pause. Rip it, pause. Rip it, pause. That is gonna get you a trout bite, and they're gonna hit it on the pause. So you're gonna be ripping it, and when it's being still, you're gonna feel them tug at it, and there you go, you have a, you have a trout. Nothing I'm telling y'all is like new information either. This has been known for a while amongst fishermen. I've been skeptical of it for a while because like I'm just thinking, you know, if uh, my little lure looks like a fish and it's swimming like a fish, someone's gonna hit it, right? Well, after paying closer attention to what I'm doing, it's, I do see a difference. When I want trout, 
put rip pauses in it. If I want reds, just a straight retrieve. Now you do get some mod balls. Sometimes you'll be fishing for trout like I was earlier. Um, you'll be ripping and stopping, ripping and stopping, and then a redfish hits it. I mean, it's not a guaranteed method to distinguish what species you're gonna catch, but it will for sure catch fish no matter which tactic you use. I think this is a good trout. I don't know if it's a red. It's a red. Got him. Awesome. <laughs> Nice. Got him way out there. Here we go. Third fish of the day. He's a little mangled. Look at that dorsal fin. All right, thanks man. Let's get him back in the water. Without me falling in, that'd be great. And he's off. Awesome. All right, that's gonna be it for the day, guys. It's starting to get pretty nasty out here. It's windy, and that is rain coming my way from that direction. That little dark area, yeah, it's not looking good. So, I'm gonna make a run back to the boat launch. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Hope y'all picked something up from what I was teaching y'all earlier with the jerk bait. Uh, if y'all haven't tried a jerk bait, I strongly suggest giving it a shot because it does catch fish and these fish out here love it. Also, I've noticed I've picked up quite a few subscribers the past few weeks. So, for those that are new to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, I'm gonna try to pump up as many videos as I can this new year. And yeah, I hope to see you out here next time. Thanks for watching.